Okay, so the other type of problem we can end up with if, when we combine an acid and a base is a neutralization or a titration. Um, again, you'll always have one of those words or a word just like it in the question um, to let you know that we're doing this type of problem I'm about to show you. Um, and case in point, here it says neutralize. Um, so conceptually what matters here is if we're neutralizing, that means that our H plus and our OH minus are equal. We don't end up with extra of one that would make it acidic or extra of another that would make it basic. Um, when I say that H plus and OH are equal, I mean they're moles. And this assumption is going to be really important moving forward. If it's neutral, it must be because H and OH are equal. Um, so, what, the way I'm going to show you um, is my preference. I think it makes conceptual sense. Uh, if you find a different way you like better, there is another way lots of people solve this type of problem. Go for it. Um, I would caution you, uh, if you're going to do it a different way, make sure you're not forgetting about two to one ratios, if ever they come up. Okay, our first step in solving this. is we want to start by finding moles, either of H or of OH, whichever one we can. And it'll depend on the question, but you want to find moles of H or of OH, whichever one you can. So in this question, um, I see eight, yeah, let's use the pink. I see 18 milliliters of 0.3 molar, that's an acid, um, and I see 27 milliliters of the base. Now, I don't have the molarity of the base, so I can't, use, I can't use that number yet in this case. I do have this molarity and this volume, so using the molarity formula, I'm going to be able to find the moles of my acid. Molarity of my acid is 0.3. So I can find the moles of my acid, moving the decimals that this is in liters. 0.3 times 0.018. What I have here is my moles of the acid, HI. Now, because of a one-to-one -one ratio between HI and H+, plus, that is also my moles of H+. Plus. So in this case, I found moles of H+. Plus. I couldn't have found OH because I didn't have the molarity. In fact, they're asking me to find the concentration, the molarity of the base. So it makes sense. I couldn't plug that in yet. Then step two is assume H plus moles equal my OH minus moles. Again, it's a neutralization. This fact must be true. So these moles of H plus that I just found are also equal to my moles of OH minus. Not because of a one-to-one -one ratio, that's why these were equivalent, but moles of H plus equal moles of OH minus, that statement is true for all neutralizations. Cool, so we've done step two. Um, and this is how I would ask you to show your work. You don't have to draw the box or anything, but saying, okay, my moles of H plus equal my moles of OH minus. So now, our next step will be to get the moles of acid or of the base. Um, really, whichever one, sorry, whichever one we didn't have before is what we want to find. So we already knew everything there was to know about our acid. We had its molarity in moles, or its molarity in liters, we found its moles. In this particular problem, we don't know or have a way of finding my moles of base other than from my moles of OH. So KOH to OH, that's a one-to-one -one ratio. So again, because of a one-to-one -one ratio, step three here, this must equal my moles of KOH. If you want a reminder as to why, KOH, when it dissociates, coefficients of KOH and OH are one to one. So I just did step three. I know that I have my moles of KOH. This number all the way back here, my moles of my acid, because of that ratio was H plus. Because it's neutralization means we have my OH minus. 
because of the ratio means it's my moles of KOH. We've done step three. Um, and then step four is going to be to find the answer. In this case, they want the concentration of the base. They want the KOH molarity. Molarity of KOH is going to be my moles of KOH over my liters of KOH. You're used to using total volume for acid plus acid, for base plus base. For the other acid plus base that we did earlier today, you've always used total volume. But in this case, we know that when they're combined, it's neutral. What we're doing is we're backtracking from, okay, here's my acid, here's my base. Let's rewind and see what was my base before I combined them. So I'm not using total volume, I'm just using the liters of my KOH. That's a big difference here. Um, but I can find the molarity of my KOH, which is the concentration, by taking my moles of KOH over my volume, my liters of just the KOH. We get 0.197. And that would be molar for molarity. Um, so there's not that much actual work to show. I would like you to show everything that's equivalent. Um, some of the times it won't be a one-to-one -one ratio with the base. Let's say we used um, strontium hydroxide or barium hydroxide that has OH2. Um, then you can't just assume a one-to-one -one ratio. You'd have to actually do that ratio there. Um, if you need a refresher on those ratios, I believe that was day one of acid base. Um, so go back and see that video if you need it. Um, but that's it.